welcome to the first of what might be several videos about a brand new espresso machine that I am very excited about. Now this is not going to be an in-depth review, this is going to be a first look at the new decent espresso machine, the DE1 Plus, packed full of features and something I'm very, very excited about. Quick disclaimer, while I know the founder of Decent, while we've corresponded over the last few months, I paid for this machine because I want to support someone doing something very cool. And I think this machine is doing something very cool. I'm going to talk about it mostly from a home barista perspective. Uh, it is by no means particularly cheap, though for the feature set you get, I'm not sure there's anything quite at the same price point. Well, what's interesting about this machine? Well, first and foremost, it is run from an Android tablet that you have on top of the machine. And this is exciting because for me, the phrase software is eating the world is very true. You know, what you can do with software enables more and more and more from hardware. If you can create a software update, you can unlock new features, you can uh, take feedback from your community, and you can improve the hardware through updating the software. So that's one aspect of this I'm very excited about. Secondly, that tablet provides a totally unique graphical display of what's actually happening during your espresso shot. That to me is kind of mind bending and the thing that I'm pretty excited about and really, really want to get into. Now, this machine is capable of uh, pressure profiling, but that's not necessarily the super interesting part of that. What this machine also does is it measures flow. Now, flow is a function of pressure and resistance. You can have a load of pressure, but if you've got a lot of resistance in that coffee cake, if your coffee cake is very fine, very hard, sort of tightly packed together, your flow will be very slow. And in fact, lower pressures may produce a higher flow because they won't compact the cake as much. Here, for the first time, we have, during the shot, a graphical representation of flow. So you can start to see what's happening when you change pressure. You can see what happens if you use a different grinder. How does the flow change during the shot? You could see something like a channel form in that flow data. Here's where it gets more exciting. We've worked out, I think, increasingly that the thing you should be uh, controlling in Espresso is not necessarily the input variables, but the output variables. In the past, we had volumetrics to control the size of an espresso shot. And a volumetric controls the amount of water sent towards the puck into the group, an input. But that doesn't correlate exactly with how much water ends up going through the coffee and into the cup. More recently, we've been doing stuff like measuring the weight of the liquid espresso and controlling that, which is kind of an output variable. Now, pressure has long been an input variable, and manipulating the pressure has, has had an effect unquestionably, though I would argue I'm not sure I've had notably better espresso from manipulating pressure. What's really interesting here is that this machine will allow you to control flow. It will make the necessary pressure adjustments to have the flow that you want happen during your espresso shot. This is controlling an output, and this is totally new. In theory, if a channel opened up in your espresso and the flow increased because there was less resistance, the pump here would reduce the pressure, potentially allowing the channel to close before bringing that pressure back up, because for a second, your flow got too high, so it pulled back on the pressure. This sort of stuff, we don't really know too much yet. There's a few people around the world experimenting with this, uh, playing with this, but right now, this is why this is just a quick first look. As for the machine itself, it's not huge, it's actually a pretty small machine and it's also pretty light. One nice little detail on here is the second handle, allowing you to hold the machine while you lock in the portafilter without necessarily dragging your machine across the counter. That's a nice little detail to me. It plugs in, uh, you have a water tank underneath the machine, there will be a plumbed version in the future. This one is just tanked, however doesn't matter to me, I'm pretty happy with it, especially because I can move it around. Oh, and on that front, this thing comes in a flight case. That's just obscene, that's amazing. This comes in a custom-made foam cutout suitcase you can just drag around the place. That, that from the moment you get this, is pretty exciting. And I've already used mine to drag it around London uh, between different spaces. This machine is steam capable also. It's perfectly capable of steaming milk drinks, though I think it's probably the investment of someone who desperately loves espresso. Chances are, though, if you're having this at home, someone in the household may also want 
good milk drinks, and this is more than capable. Like I said, I will be doing a deep, deep dive on this thing in the future when I've spent a little bit more time with it. If there's things that you want me to test, if there's things you want me to look at, leave a comment down below and I will try and build it into my full test of this thing. I'm excited to dive into a machine in a whole new way. And so this is gonna be a, a really fun uh, espresso machine for me to get to know. There will be more again soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.